uh, staying with football, <laughs> but going to college. Um, this week, we just had the first college football playoff rankings uh, released. And those are in order um, from one to four. Ohio State, LSU, Alabama, Penn State. And number five, uh, first out team is Clemson. Jalen, uh, do you agree mm. with these rankings by the committee? I do not. I think if we're going to push a team out of the top five, uh, I would push Alabama out right now because Ooh, of the fact that they played a State. lot of bad teams. I would not push Penn State out. They've oh, looked very shit. dominant. Uh, I would keep Penn State in there. I would push Bama out. Hot uh, takes, mate. Well, like... I mean, lukewarm takes on the fourth and long show. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I feel like Clemson has been pushed to five because of the fact of they had that really close, what should have been a loss to North Carolina. Yep. Uh, I feel like if, uh, that uh, almost loss. They've also um, just pushed been them generally so underperforming this year in the week ACC. Yes. Uh, I feel like they have, but at the same time, I feel like Alabama, which we don't talk about enough, is doing the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I feel like they're pl- they're doing the same Especially exact thing, but they're playing worse Tua teams Tua than right Clemson's playing. Yeah, and so I feel like they're just playing worse teams right now mm-hmm. than Clemson has played, even though Clemson did almost lose to North Carolina. North Carolina, while they are not a great team, they are they are they have enough talent and skill and great coaching to where they can threaten good teams. And I feel like, so that wasn't, I mean, obviously it was a surprise, but at the same time, it was, they are not terrible like some of the teams that Alabama's been playing. So I think Alabama, if we're really going off of the fact that I see no reason Clemson should be out of the top top four other than the fact that they almost lost to NC. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like if we're going off of that, I think Bama deserves to be So you say, in, in your opinion, your top four is Ohio State, LSU, Penn State, and Clemson. Yeah, I, I'd go All with that right. right now. I uh, I think Oregon should have been higher on the rankings, in my mm-hmm. opinion. Um, Oregon, but I think I, maybe number six. Yeah, I'd put them at six. Hey, this is just another um, reason why they should expand to eight teams. That's all I'm saying. And I think they that's should a expand topic it. for another show. Yeah, I think they should expand definitely. Maybe even to 16. Maybe. All, um, and then kind of play that like one conference in the N- um, NFL, how you have a couple buys in the lower four play. Then they play the top yeah. four. That's fair. If That's I'm exactly going to give you my um, top four, I will switch up the order, um, and I'll and change it around a little bit. I got LSU number one, um, Ohio State number two, Penn um, Penn State number three, Clemson number four. Nice. I, I definitely see that. Hey, it's going to be great, face. You got Ohio State playing Penn State later in this year. You have the undefeated. Minnesota Golden Gophers, un, um, in the over there in the Big Twelve, they're going to be playing some big games against Penn State, and Ohio State, and the college football is just going to get crazier later down the season. And once again, talk about yeah, the of I, this. I, this is the best part, in my opinion. Just while we're on the topic of college football playoffs, is I think one of the biggest and most exciting spectacles in all of sports is March Madness. Mm. I think March Madness, mm. even though I, I'm, I'm a big NBA fan, I don't watch much college basketball until it comes to March Madness because the fact that the, the attorney is so big, there's so there's so many yeah. chances for small teams to exactly. beat big teams. It's great. And I think that's what basketball makes sports too. exciting. I think so basketball is like a little more competitive 16, than um, football as well. Yeah, exactly. Because in basketball, it's uh, teams have bad shooting days. Yeah, and if you have a bad shooting day, and you catch a team who's having a good shooting day, any team can win on any day. Yep. Uh, I feel like. Hold on. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> Bless me. Oh, um, it's okay. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if you expand the uh, playoffs, the college football playoffs, to sixteen teams, it gives those teams who are like the sixteenth. 15 team. Why stop it there, uh, that, that extra game. 64 huh? team playoff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think Let's it definitely... bring in March Madness to football. Can we get uh, wow. December Madness? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Imagine like how long that would take if difficult. you can only play one game a week. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's difficult. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, I <laughs> think that 16 is good. Because of the fact that you can get those top two teams a break, they've yep. they've had a long season. So you're and they've saying had to six dominate for teams, a full season. 
Not 16, yeah. but six S- teams. Mm-hmm. Okay. Six teams. <laughs> Just want to clarify. All right. <laughs> it sounds like he says 16 uh, per second. But... Like, that's way too much, dog. What are you talking about? Yeah, you, you get what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I feel like if you give the week a bye week, you give a, a chance for one of the lower-ranked teams to play some teams mm-hmm. and, you know, give everybody a chance to play some football because I feel like the what college football playoffs is missing is the excitement factor. Since it goes so fast, there's mm-hmm. there's two games and then there's the championship game. Yeah, I feel like that it, it, it leaves – me wanting more and i'm like why is it already over there's only right. been two games also it's so just, i feel like, and if we're talking yeah. uh if we're trying to um appeal to the ncaa's uh um wants and i guess priority it's just gonna make more money for those greedy bastards too fuck you guys exactly and then now that uh they're starting to pass the world where college football players can get paid uh He's gonna make you know, hashtag more money. bring back ncaa 21 yeah um I think that it's going to be better for everybody. Yep. I feel like the players have a – I feel like no team in the top 25 is going to be mad about the chance to break into the top to get a chance at Not playoffs. At all. Not at all. No no one's going to complain about that. Exactly. It's college football players. First of all, it also gives uh, players who might not have got the best college career so far, it gives them a better chance to you know put their name out there a little bit more uh, for the NFL rankings. Mm-hmm. Uh, when it comes down to draft time, it gives you that much more. And then also for NFL teams, it's good because maybe that quarterback you're thinking about drafting in the top five, you're like, okay, he hasn't really played against a lot of tough teams. Yeah, that that's you're forcing teams to play against tough competition a couple more times a year. And I feel like that's that's where it counts that's because good for I, in my opinion, last year the way Clemson beat Alabama. I feel if you made the playoffs bigger, I feel like Alabama does not make it to that championship game. Yeah, I feel like Alabama yeah, got lucky. They got a really close game with Kyler Murray almost leading a comeback with Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you add extra games, I feel like Alabama made way too many mistakes and got lucky against Oklahoma mm-hmm. and ended up getting exposed against Clemson. Yep. So That's I feel exactly like if you expand it, you kind of you kind of put teams against great teams and you have a better chance of ex- – Exposing the the fakers mm-hmm. it, it, it's just to put in a simple statement to, to expose expose the fakers that's exactly what it is